<laughs> Come on, man. It was set up for failure in the beginning. This is already a drama case who's complaining about tip. You probably never see $300 in your uh, in any of the nights that you spent. What did you say? A drama case? Drama case. <laughs> you go into social media because you only gave me $300? <laughs> Entitled bastard. <laughs> Take the damn tip and go buy yourself a nice shirt. You met Future. You probably even yeah. got videos of it. Or like, oh, yeah. it's Future there. I met yeah. Future. That's worth more than the Exactly, tip, man. man. Get out of here. Yeah. Go back to serving meat to other people. Welcome, welcome to the Laugh Kings podcast. We on a new level, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm your co-host, Jace. We got my main man, as always, to the right, the A-lister, the leading actor in a drama series, mm. Malton's Finest. What? Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only, mm. Mr. JR. Yep. What up? What up? We got the one who stacked the bills in the back, the Mexican bodega with a little bit of raspberry mix. It's the sweet but sometimes salty. Mm. Cash Money Linda. Hello, hello. And last but not least, Mr. DXB to YYZ, the pineapple and vodka mix. Ooh. Infamous Prince of Dubai, Uncle Sammy. What's up, what's up? What up? All right, folks, we're not here to play nice. We're here to ignite fires and have a good time. Let's cheers. Folks, we're everywhere mm -hmm. on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Our handle's at The Laugh Kings with a Z or a Z. For the audio heads, find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, CastBox. Search The Laugh Kings with a Z. For anything and everything, check us out, direct.me slash Laugh Kings. Mm. Like, give credit where credit's due. Big up to, to who? As always, Shen Sia. Ryan Clark, big up to you, sir. And in the world where you can be anything, mm -hmm. please be kind to each other, please. Mm. But we yep. ain't going to be kind to this man. Nope. The Diddy special. The thousand dollars. Mm. The thousand thousands mm -hmm. of baby oil. Damn. Did we even catch the brand of that? No. I think it might be. Uh, is it? The, it might be the infamous. What is it? S.E. Johnson brand. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Gathering up the baby oil to this? I can't imagine that. But. No, I know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. That's up. Damn, Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. So the, yeah. it's this is going to go on for like weeks now, mm. but stuff has been happening. You want to yeah. go on a quick rundown of mm. the events recently? Yeah. Well, uh, it's been a while since uh, Homeland Security raided his houses. Miami, LA, and I believe a property somewhere in Manhattan sees a lot of property, a lot of video, right. um, and they took that and they've been investigating. Right. And fast forward a few months later on, I believe it was Wednesday, September 18th. I think it was Monday. Was it Monday? Monday. Monday, Monday. My bad. Uh, Homeland Security, the FBI, the feds moved in yeah. and they arrested Diddy in Manhattan. Now... He was supposed to be turning himself in on the Tuesday. Tuesday yeah. However, they stepped in a day early, which is so, quite interesting. So back up because yeah. so what I heard, they made he made an agreement, him yeah. and his family, with the FBI. The mm -hmm. FBI. Yeah. So they gave up their passports. Yes. Even the whole family and the kids gave up the passports. Mm -hmm. And they said, arrest me on the Tuesday. Yep. They did it on the Monday. They did it on the Monday. Damn, what a shady yeah. act. Was it shady? That, I think so. I shady? Think, I think so. Because they, well, I guess they, Diddy thought that they gave him that <laughs> grace of, okay, we'll agree. You're turning right. yourself in on this day. We're trusting you. You can't go anywhere. We right. have your passports. And it's like, psych, boom, kick in the door. <laughs> and it's like, we're here a day early, 24 hours early. They were probably scared he was going to do something or give an extra day to clean up something, yeah. right? I think so. Maybe. Yeah. 
And to add some context to that as well, he was actually arrested at a Manhattan hotel. Okay. The security footage from the hotel lobby actually came out today. And uh, in the video, I believe TMZ... Um, so four days after the arrest. Four days after, yeah. um, TMZ got uh, the footage. And you see, they, the officers weren't uniformed. The FBI, they weren't uniformed. They looked like regular street clothes. Damn. They moved in, Damn. arrested him, handcuffed him. There was no uh, ruckus, no fight back, no nothing. And uh, they handcuffed him and took him out. And then I guess he gets into a car. We don't see the rest. There was no resistance or anything. He nothing, just, nothing. Just no. accepted it. Although, was he with his family? Yes, I was about to say that. A lot of his family was there. Mm. Um, and, you know, we don't hear any audio. The video is kind of grainy, so you can't make out Was faces. it like body cam video or was it like No, it hotel? was actually, it looked like it was a security camera. Okay. But, but yeah, it looked like he had a lot of family there. Right. As everybody was probably anticipating the... Um, him turning himself in on uh, the following day. Right. But, yeah. So the indictment mm. specifically has numerous charges. Like, yeah. it's really bad. Yes. Right? It's sex trafficking, racketeering, kidnapping with intent to transport for prostitution, forced labor. Yeah. It's really bad. Those are, like, high indictment crimes. Mm -hmm. That's, like, up there. Like, yeah. That's kind of, like, almost murder, homicide. Yeah. Kind of time. Yeah, it's when, that's a lot, man. Yeah, and when you look at like what stood out to me was we already knew the sex trafficking, but it's the racketeering. Yeah, when you when you hear racketeering, you think of rackets. <laughs> sure, in the <laughs> tennis world, um, when I hear racketeering, I think of gangs, yeah. Ricos, yeah. right? You're associated with a gang, a, a group. Yeah, a come, uh, you know, group, gang, whatever. So, so you got people with him. Yeah, people with him who are gonna be named, be unnameless probably. Hmm. I, I got probably. a few theories. I got a few theories on that. Okay. But we'll we'll I'll, I'll, really? I'll save them for the but, end. But, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I think um, and as you mentioned, the sex sex trafficking as well. Um, interesting. We didn't hear anything about drug trafficking. Or anything related to drugs. Mm. Now, if you remember when the FBI raided his houses and Homeland Security, his drug mule was arrested. Right, right. Yeah. Right? That kid. So I'm interested to know if they had any evidence. Or maybe they couldn't. There were so many charges and that that might throw a wrench into it. True. And bring someone else. Because you know his legal team, anything that they could potentially right. use to work for Diddy like right. a drug charge and somehow get the rest dropped, whatever it right. may be. But I just found it interesting though, that there's nothing drug related, even though we hear that drugs are right. present. So, and I think the stupid thing, I think they were saying that Diddy did was he was recording people. Yeah. And mistakenly got himself in the recordings in the freak off. Cause he was so horny. Ooh. Yeah. Right. So he was like jerking off or like watching and yeah. couldn't resist of being part of those videos. Because it didn't start yeah. out with him in the video. Yeah. Hmm. We'll yeah. see. Those videos will be leaked one day. Yeah. They'll be leaked Just one like day. how um, the video with uh, Cassie was leaked at the right. hotel lobby. He They're all against him destroyed it or he, he sees the footage right. from the hotel thinking that it's all good. So, right. yeah. So, let's go down bail requirements, right? Yeah. So, everyone has the right to bail as long as you meet the requirements set forth by the court, which he apparently did. Mm -hmm. But in this case... Yeah, they're really holding on to their guns because yep. he did meet the requirements. It mm -hmm. was liquid cash of fifty million, yeah. right? Paid off for his Miami mortgages, mortgage, and family money. Yep, had more than enough. But no, the judge, the judge kept him in jail. Yeah. Kept him in jail until his trial. Yeah, in one of the worst prisons I heard in the states, which is yeah. the Brooklyn Pen. Yeah, which we've heard is one of the um, basically one of the worst jails in the U.S. where for weeks, sometimes power's out. Yeah. Meals are late. There's notorious where there's fights broken out and things like that. Yeah. I don't think it's going to affect him because he'd probably be like put in his own area. Yeah, for sure. Just because of his stature yeah. and things like that. But it's crazy to know that. Yeah. But I think what the judge was trying to send a message, and I heard a lawyer in New York say, mm. um, the reason they didn't grant him bail was because of um, he was influencing witnesses. 
and mm. they didn't want him to have access to any witnesses mm. during that time. And also, too, when you're out of jail, there's potential where you could hire a good image consulting team. Yeah. Try to clean up your image a little bit mm. and try to f- go out there in the public, have people kind of feel sorry for you yeah. in a sense, and then come back to the trial. And then people kind of almost forget a little mm. bit of what how serious the case is and a bit more sympathetic to you. Whereas in, in jail, mm. you're looking at the four walls every single day for until your trial comes, right? Yeah. The only one you're talking to is your lawyer in the jail. You can't really think properly. Yeah. And mm. you're probably going to ask the lawyer, look, I can't stay here. Yeah. Please get the trial over with. Let's just start do let's just do the trial. And that time where the jury has been selected to, if it's a quicker trial, yeah, they remember those things more. Quickly, oh yeah, right. For so sure. That's why I heard one of the influence from this New York lawyer, mm. who explained probably one of the reasons why they didn't grant him jail, even yeah. though he met the requirements. Yeah. Uncle Sammy, what do you think about that? I'm very curious to see what happens with this, uh, but I'm more curious to see the sickles that were with him in it I want those people to be exposed so I don't want Diddy to be the only one who goes down for it I want the other people like also to go down for for, for the stuff like you know just because he might be the ringleader there's if you leave the other people out then they're gonna have their own little freak offs to a lower extent you know what I mean so it's like get all of these creeps up behind bars but you know what's weird? The free cops will probably yeah. be on pause for yeah. uh, for maybe like a half a year, and they'll come back. Yeah, trust me, these freak these freaky guys or yeah. freaky girls or this place these these people, yeah. they cannot stop this nastiness. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, his security guard said he wasn't. He said he would be arrested. For some reason, it's coincidental that whatever he said in this Vlad interview. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the security guard, same one who was yeah. security for Biggie and okay. stuff like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, big guy. Yeah. He'd been talking for years and he said he'd be arrested in September. And he said Diddy was never like this. Mm. He was groomed into this for like the lights of Clyde Davis. Wow. The Russell Simmons, who's not there anymore, kind of mm. groomed him into this lifestyle. Yep. So maybe those are the head honchos, the big ones that will probably never get prosecuted. Yeah. But those are the real ones. You know what I mean? Pass. Passing it down, jeez, that was a good burp. <laughs> Learning, yeah. grooming, yeah, but that's weird. It is. It is weird. It is, and I think, see, part of me, and again, this is just when you're dealing with someone as big as Diddy, any politician, celebrity, entertainer, whoever who's has notoriety attached to their name. I wonder how much Diddy has already, not directly him, but maybe people associated to him, have potentially intimidated witnesses. The names, the celebs. Yeah. Who could potentially be Mm. called out. Do you think they'll actually be called out? Because I don't, personally. Really? I don't. Ooh. I have have two routes on this that I think. Two theories. One of them is they could be making an example out of Diddy, right? Same with R. Kelly, Jeffrey Epstein, anybody who's been involved in some sort of... Because Jeffrey Epstein, yeah. he was a big pillar that failed. But no one else yeah. who were big names mm. came down with him, if you notice. Right. Big names, like mm. big, big of the name, the Bill Gates. Yeah. Was mentioned. Mm-hmm. Nothing Trump? happened to him. Trump was meant. Was nothing time, happened yeah. to him. Like yeah, big names. And that's why I think that for okay, so for Diddy, for example, like he could be fa- like he might potentially face the rest of his life in jail, right? Potentially, with sex trafficking, racketeering, and yeah. we don't know if any other charges will come forth. But even let's just say a minimum of 20 years. He's 54 right now. Right. You think he'd be making and producing behind bars? Mm, Possibly. Maybe. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. No? No. Because 
Who, who's who's our boy from Brampton? Who's in jail? Forgot Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. Yeah. The man gave a sad. Yeah. Remember, he gave sad news. He was recording in his cell and he yeah. took away all his equipment. Yeah, they did. The man was making some good music. And it too. sounded really yeah, clear, man. Clear, crisp quality. Damn. Yeah. Damn, Megan, just like <laughs> telling me he didn't do it. Because I don't even look at Diddy involved in music anymore. I look at him as like. But he's the business mogul. That's what now. you think. But like, you listen to music today. He is yeah. everywhere. He's an executive producer yeah. on a lot of these young yeah. guys' hits. And I also forgot too. He just put out an album, I think it was two years ago. Yeah, with the the Love album. The Love album. And he had a lot of people yeah. on the album. And as well, there was like a little, this is when he was with Revolt. Right. They did like a little behind the scenes documentary mm. in his studio, Okay. in his house. Oh, okay. And you see all the celebrities pulling up, okay. recording and mm. yeah, so... That's why I think like, and this is why I say either it could go one or two routes. First route is they could be making an example out of Diddy and he will just squeal and say everybody's name, right. everybody. Or if there are people that he's trying to protect, I don't want to mention any names. Mention the damn name. Friends or family. Okay. He might, he might be that stand up guy and take what he has to take. Yeah, you think so? I think so. Okay. Or you don't think someone's saying this? Yeah. We got a he, maybe he didn't do it, but mm. we got a lot of evidence against Tupac and Biggie's death tied to you. Ooh. Who could bring more charges to you? Yeah. And you would be here forever mm. if you ever mention anyone's name. Mm. Also, remember, Shine has something to say about how loyal Diddy is. I don't <laughs> think that was Shine, Uncle Sammy. Huh? When that came out, Shine's accent changed. The man looks totally different. I don't think that's him. <laughs> no, it, it was him. But I mean, like, you know, if you ask Shine how loyal Diddy was when he was on trial, Diddy kind of left him. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I, I can see him, if Diddy can get less time by, you know, snitching, I hmm. would be very nervous if I was part of those freak offs. Yeah. All right. Is there a chance... This man's innocent. Is there no. a chance? Mm, is no. there a chance that it's not as bad as the thousand bottles of baby oil? Hmm. Ain't nobody have that many uh, need a thousand bottles of baby oil. There's I will contradict you, Uncle Sammy. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh, how much, maybe it's not baby oil, but how much foil wrap does your family keep at home when it's on sale? <laughs> there's no way do you take a baby oil he okay off, let's put it in perspective he's like a billionaire right yeah I know for a fact I probably have four dozen foil wrap at home because foil mm. wrap is on sale <laughs> I'm not a billionaire but if I yeah. was a billionaire yeah. my mom would probably have thousands of foil wrap <laughs> in the basement because it's on sale there the Alcan foil wrap yeah the mind <laughs> no. of an immigrant there's no I, I'm not gonna make any excuse for him there's just no way he don't have no baby like you know what I mean oh, so God. he don't need all that baby oil but I'm telling you I'm going on record since the the first allegations came on here yeah he's innocent really he's innocent mm. y'all wow. trying to keep the man when he's down kick him mm. the great Farrah Khan said don't kick a man when he's down mm. watch yourself watch yourself mm. what did he do wrong yeah. we still don't know hope Mm. You have hope. <laughs> I got hope, man, because those are my songs. Those yeah. are my time. Mm. Those are my mood. The R and B. Yeah. The legendary rap songs. The bad mm. boy era. I got hope, Diddy. Yeah. I'm the only one you on your what? side. When you come out of this free. Oh jeez. I'm telling you. you know everyone I, will owe you apology. You know what I think. I actually think it, it, when this is all said and done, this is gonna be worse than R. Kelly's. Hmm. Is it worse than R. Kelly's though? The allegations? The allegations. Not yet. Until we actually uncover it. But yeah. I think I'm gonna predict so you're going the opposite way of saying he's innocent. He's innocent. I'm going the opposite way of saying that when all of the the evidence is actually revealed and the freak offs and all of these mm. things, it's gonna actually be worse than R. Kelly. 
All right, let me ask you this, Uncle Sammy. R. Kelly is known to have sex with a minor. That's his, mm -hmm. like, main charge, right? Yeah. Yeah. None of these charges include anything with a minor, even though there Correct. might have been allegations. Let's just say it's not part yeah. of it. So sex trafficking, yes. kidnapping, racketeering, yeah, forced labor. Is that worse than a minor? In my eyes, no. You know what, no. Though? Like trafficking, I think those things are very bad, right? And we don't know how old these girls are. Like you, we we can find out there were some minors there. Mm. So I think it's that's why I say I, I'm gonna wait and see, but I think it may end up being worse. But the only thing with that, that would have been a part of the indictment and would be yeah. one of the evidence to go on trial. They would have mentioned minors, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So they don't have but, solid evidence against minors, what it seems like. But this is actually like prostituting women, like mm -hmm. trafficking them to other, like that's, you know, the toll, the mental anguish, and this sort of but thing. Let's, like, I think that's crazy to be doing to-, to Not making an excuse, mm -hmm. but this is more, I think, mm -hmm. God help me. I think it's not the pimp with the, with the hole in the corner. Right just giving it drugging up then yeah. like, go do your job and i'll get money i think it's like these not to say upper class women mm. but these ones who are at a higher standard looking right. to get set up with billionaires millionaires mm. and that is the sort of transaction like look right i got the rolodex mm. of these guys you got some fine ass women yeah who's not gonna be drug he's not on the street but we'll give them a good time with a lot of baby oh. oil rubs, a lot of massages. Yeah. I'm not that's saying like it's Jeffrey Epps, bad. That's like a Jeffrey Epstein thing, though. You know. What but I we're mean? talking with about R. Kelly. That's what I'm trying to say. Is yeah. it bad as the R. Kelly thing? Well, well, I think what you're saying makes it sound bad <laughs> with the high class of like billionaires mm -hmm. and all of this thing. I think that's actually worse. Do you think it's worse than actually being a pimp? Pimping like minors, minors yeah. or people on the street who actually need to work as a hoe to feed their family. But it's the same thing, right? It's all. It's basically it's just one person's poor and the other people that it's you're not doing though, it with. Because the one person poor doesn't have a choice. These people, they know what they offer, and they're just going for higher class men and potentially. Mm. Could nah, but if you're trafficking well. them, that's not. If you're trafficking them, that's not a choice. Like you wouldn't get if it was a choice that it would be consensual. But it's not about the choice; it's about evidence of him pimping, right? So setting up the transaction. It's still a transaction, so I think they're one and the same. I I, <laughs> I disagree with you on that. And one. also, too, to add a little context to sex trafficking, you know, a lot of times we think they're moving country to country. It could yeah. be moving state to state. state it to could state. be from Diddy's Miami house to L.A. Right, right. Whether it's on the private jet, I'll whether, fly you down to you Miami. That's trafficking. Room one twelve, where the players dwell. <laughs> oh shoot! When you're done there, yeah. the deposit will be in in your bank account. Right there, you go. Exactly. Right. It's no longer the. It's a lavish lifestyle yeah. for some of these, and there, there are mm. these sugar babies that are looking for this type of setup these days. Unfortunately, it's sad. I don't know about yeah, and it's not that. like the crackhead a, down yeah. the road that's looking to suck a dick for five dollars no. because yeah. they need some but, more weed. Yeah. <laughs> but you're the way you're the way you're explaining it is you're acting like it's a choice that's like a job that they love. That's like an escort or something. But he wouldn't have been charged with anything if it was like so consensual. Yeah. But that's so what I'm I trying to say. People that that's why I think it's the reason it's charged is there are victims who are probably spoke up and went against mm. this because they it wasn't that lavish lifestyle that you're that you're saying it is because they or else they wouldn't have charged him nobody would have complained it's it's how i look at it that's what i'm saying it's probably more escortish mm. than actual no, but then pimping. but that's what i mean though if it was though they wouldn't have complained though but right? there's no charge for all, escorting the, that's why i'm saying they're probably just putting it into that's why i think yeah they're putting it and phrasing it into this to make it look worse right they just got a couple because they know he's down. Yeah. They're saying he did this. Yeah, he did this. Hmm. I think it's tough because I got to disagree with you on it. And disagree. The, and the reason why is 
I could understand Diddy's flying in and out, boom, 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 moving here to there, right? But there's also another side of sex trafficking too where is there i hate to say this but is there the sale of women hey at one of his freak offs all right give me 2500 there you go enjoy your room right i don't know if that's if that's what it's looking like at one of his parties in the back room right you got all these women boom just flew them in from la to miami that's already the trafficking part now you're actually almost have the sale of them to individuals at his party again we don't know right okay that's what i'm saying it can't all these celebrities who are linked up with diddy and all these parties can't yeah. be that dumb that's why i think there's <laughs> they're just trying to get uh, they, they can't be the that dumb got, uh, like you can't well, people who what about the people at jeffrey epstein's island yeah. what about the people who you know what i mean harvey weinstein and all yeah. of those guys you think People are that dumb. <laughs> I just think the man has probably done some bad things, but it's he's not as guilty as we all think he is. I'm rocking with yeah. Diddy, man. I, I like to keep guilty, innocent yeah. until proven guilty. An R. Kelly song. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Like I, I'm a firm believer too in but, like giving the benefit so, of the doubt, yeah. right? But <laughs> it's hard though because like this this is not something that popped up the past couple of years with Diddy. This has been something that's going on since from the nineties with him. Okay, but why did it take so long? Fifty Cent recently came out to yeah. say because he probably did these things, but he's they're coming down on him because he went against the uh oh, the, 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 the yeah. liquor brands, right? Oh, and by the way, that that clip, and fifty would yeah, be the one that, who who would know it because yeah. he was affiliated with the liquor brands. Yeah, so rock. It's very interesting what he said, though. Very yeah. very interesting how, and as you mentioned too, how it's taken so long. But at some point, was this like? I'm just trying to figure out what exactly the involvement of the alcohol brands have to do with it, though. I don't know, man. Like, I ain't in that level, but. Seems I, like I know. they're up there yeah. and Diddy's like here and the yeah. rest of us are just like here. So it, it, like my question is like, did they have a part in in trying to coerce all of this to take place for the agencies to move in and investigate? Like you try to come after us, we're coming yeah. after you hard. Yeah. Right. You're trying to sue us. We gave you that lifestyle. We yeah. gave you the Ciroc lifestyle. You mm-hmm. think you can come against us? Yeah. I got friends in high places. Yeah. Maybe that's the case. Maybe. Maybe the bottles of oils were planted. Mm. Maybe he bought oh, it in God. bulk. Yeah. You know, they're on sale. It's like he got a skid of like yeah. boxes of baby oil okay, dropped let me off tell you the this. driveway. When, when you're with the West Indian family, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden they work at, let's just say they work at a sponge factory. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Or they work at a... I don't know, a rice factory or yeah. something like that, or a curry powder yeah. factory. <laughs> One skit fell from the truck. Oh, yeah. And they kept it at their house. There's over like a hundred at their yeah. house. Bye. Yeah. Me get a couple of curry powder. Can mm-hmm. in the house you want any? Me get over oh, 1,000. Yeah. Everybody's getting. You just buy them a store for how much? $10? Yeah. They'll give you $5. Yeah. <laughs> Down to the neighbors who even don't even cook curry are getting curry powder. Or whatever. was like, yeah. baby, well, I could probably use yeah. this. Man, send it over. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, that like to put into perspective, that's wild. Yeah, wild, wild, wild. Thousand bottles of baby oil. That's crazy. And I think that's just the icing on the cake. Where now we're starting to really look at Diddy differently. Like, okay, the freak offs, this and that, but like you must be really but baby oil yeah. isn't even in the best thing to do no like, exactly like you can't be too slippery like you, you can't get nothing done <laughs> well i just don't know we have to we have to take his word for it i guess he must know because <laughs> yeah. oh there was also allegations bottles. as well in the indictment that people were um having sex so much that they were actually getting IV on site yeah. to hydrate them. That's crazy as well. Now that, yeah. that is mm-hmm. crazy. 
Yeah. That is like, that to me is like, it sounds so stupid and out there. It has to be fake. Yeah. Like, come yeah. on. It has yeah. to be fake. What is this? Yeah. This doesn't make yeah, any but- sense whatsoever. You could be crazy and have these freak mm. offs, but like that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You also have to remember that the FBI doesn't get involved in cases that don't make any sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the FBI doesn't just get involved in these cases unless there's massive, massive like charges to be laid. So the fact that they laid the charges at a federal level, it's not like, you know, I know what 50 cents saying about like, Oh, it's the liquor brands. The liquor brands don't have, um, control over the FBI you know what I mean they can control some other things but not with the not with the federal government hmm. you know so I think those that speaks volumes it does yeah all right I know we're gonna talk about Diddy for a while yeah. like in the news um I got another topic okay if, if you want to switch over let's do it yes so yeah. cash here's the situation The server, so f- this is Future. I don't know if you've heard this. You know Future? Yeah. Future. He was out with his friends. They racked up a $4,000 bill. He left a tip of $300, mm-hmm. which is less than 20%, right? Mm-hmm. Way less than 20%. Yeah. And the server got upset, went on social media, and complained how cheap Future is. So for a $4,000 bill, he left a $300 tip. Mm. That is a good tip. Like, consider it outside of the $4,000. Yeah. He probably didn't make $300 in tips in a night, right? Mm. Just think about that. But yeah. because relative to the bill of $4,000, do you think he was right to complain and call Future cheap? No. Okay. Thank you for agree. your answer. No, I don't agree <laughs> with that. Okay. Why? <laughs> because I think, I mean, not everyone gave tip. Like, we had a conversation but about this before. But he's a celeb. Before. But yes, he is a celebrity. Like Tipping is the culture. We, we kind of went into this with one of your rants, right? Right. Everything. Mm-hmm. A subway artist makes does his job, his or her job, and still asks for a tip. That's the thing. Right? Continue. But... I think three hundred dollars good. Even though the bill was like four thousand. Four thousand? Yeah, I still think that's good. So it's not twenty percent. So like ten percent would be four hundred, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So let's just say like it's way less than ten percent. So it's. What do you think? I guess because he's a celebrity. I think he should should have gave more, but at the end of the day, mm. I feel like you're obligated to give whatever amount as long as not lower than the percentage that you're required to do that's how i look at it is there levels to it like when the bill hits a certain amount that threshold of 20 10 15 percent goes away no i don't think so and i think something that we're also missing from this is what if the service was mediocre it wasn't good I, I shared that story where I was eating somewhere and I had to wait like 20 minutes for someone just to even get a hi, I'm your server. And I gave no tip. Right. And they looked at me like, no tip? And I was like, no, I didn't receive sufficient service. We don't know. Uh, we don't know the quality of service Future received where if it wasn't, it, if it wasn't up to standard, I'm just going to give you the bare minimum. So we got to assume he was there for a while, right? Right. Fourth, rack of yeah. 4,000, even at like a five-star restaurant, yeah. you, you, you're you there for at least a yeah. couple hours. For sure. So let's assume, let's put it in perspective. Let's assume, I like yeah. that argument, because that is a good cop-out of saying, mm. why didn't tip? At yeah. least you got something. Right. But let's assume they got standard service. Okay. Not over the top, just like, here's your food. Yeah. Enjoy. Check up on you once yeah. in a while. Okay. While the chicken's in your mouth. Mm. How's the chicken? Yeah. That's oh, okay. Or before you even take a bite. How's the food? It's like, uh, I, it smells good. I didn't taste it yet. But yeah. <laughs> um, if it's standard, if it's standard, I still rock with future on this. I still think you don't necessarily have to give what the society says you should give. Right. 
you know, again, now, let me, here, here's another way to look at this too. Would, no, we don't know how the tips are split, but what if that server has to now split the tips with other employees? He might be, he or she might be upset. But, but it's still if, a good tip. Still even if you got a split, right? But if they were to pocket that, what was it, 300? 300. If they were to pocket all of that 300, do you think they'll be complaining? I don't think so. Well, that's the entitlement society today. Uncle Sam, yeah. what do you think about that? You know, I was th while you guys were talking, I was going back and forth in my mind how I feel about it. But I, I actually think, because what JR said, maybe the service wasn't great. But I still think you should tip at least ten percent if you're spending that much money, um, because it is a large order. Obviously, for you to be able to spend four thousand dollars, that's a lot of, you know, requirements behind that. You know, I mean, there's a lot of service that they're provided to you. So even if the service you don't feel is great, there's still put. There's a lot of effort, is what I'm trying to say, to 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 make your experience good. So even if it's a half ass experience, I say at least go 10% uh, to 15%. You know I mean? If you're not, if you're going to spend that much money and go out and not really look to pay the people who are providing the service, then don't go out. Like, you know what I mean? Because the other people are working to support their families. They're, they're working for a reason, you know? So if, your intention is to not really tip the the wait the wait staff, then you know I I, I don't think that's fair. Um, hmm. But I also understand the flip side. Like if the service is bad, you shouldn't be obligated to to provide a tip. But I think if your order is that large, it's just like um, you go out with like a group of eight or whatever. Tip is always included. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Because let's say it's a larger group, it's a larger order. They include the tip on there because they know that it's going to be a lot more work. They maybe have like two or three people waiting on that table potentially. So I think maybe the restaurant, I think it's partly maybe their fault. You know what I mean? They should have included the tip automatically. Let mm. it be known before they, they even start that tips are included with blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, so I'm kind of torn on it. Hmm. I'm with Future on this all the way. All the way. Really? Why are you deserving of a tip? Hmm. I agree with you. Yeah? I bet you this restaurant's so dumb. You don't think hmm. Future wants to be served? This was a male complaining. Served hmm. by a female waitress? Oh. <laughs> you had potential to get more tips. Uh-oh. Even I know I would tip a female. And Uncle Sammy, yeah. I know. Don't lie to me. You would tip yeah, a female yeah. more than you would tip a male server. And don't you lie to me. You know how I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. It was set up for failure in the beginning. This is already a drama case who's complaining about tip. You probably never see $300 in your uh, in any of the nights that you... <laughs> what did you say? A drama case? Drama case. <laughs> you go to social media because you only gave me $300? Entitled bastard. <laughs> Take the damn tip and go buy yourself a nice shirt. You met Future. You probably even yeah. got videos of it, or like, oh, yeah. it's Future there. I met yeah. Future. That's worth more than the exactly, tip, man. man. Get out of yeah. here. Go back to serving meat to other people. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I guess just to add on that too, like, uh, it's just the entitlement that that pisses society me off. feels right. I owe you this too. Because he, he, here's the thing. Okay, Future spends that, yeah. right? We know Future. We see his face. We hear his music. But what if I'm some CEO of some tech company I make? And no one knows you. Yeah, and no faceless. one knows me. And exactly. my bill is 4000 and I exactly. put down 300 You think he's, he or she will complain? Hell no. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's but again, it's, it's, it's also too, it's the clout on social media. Clout is a drug. You mention a celebrity's name. You attach something to someone. It's going to gain traction. People are going to pick it up. The blogs are going to pick it up. People are going to talk about exactly. it. Exactly. For what? A couple seconds of a little a little fame? Like, come on, man. He, it was a guy, right? He knows, yes. He knows exactly what he was trying to do. Drama case. 
telling you. Yeah. Because if that was anyone else, three hundred a three hundred dollar tip. Exactly. Oh my! That's more than what. That's more than what he probably made in his hourly wage while serving there. Yeah. Three hundred dollars. You know when he saw the the three hundred, he snapped his fingers and went away like oh that. God. <laughs> I got another one for you. Uh oh. I got another one for you. Okay. So there's this professor, a very famous professor. I'll, uh, this guy here. You've okay. seen him before. Looks he's familiar. He's a performer yeah. man for, he talks about the black community and yeah. says, like, he supports um, how the light skins don't get enough credit because they're not yeah. black and things like that. He's a very intelligent. Yeah. Um, he was on the Breakfast Club the other day. Yeah. So he's coming in the news. Professor Michael Eric Dyson took a picture with a congresswoman. Mm hmm. And the picture she posted on her Instagram, she, yeah. she he DM'd her mm. and says, Shh, don't tell anybody. We look good together. Yeah. She immediately went to the news and accused him of flirting with her. Oh, oh boy. What do you think about that? If you're taking a picture with a colleague and he messaged you and say, hey, we look good together in that picture or Shh, we look good together. Would you take that news and broadcast it to the world? Would you think it's flirting? I like, how sensitive are women these days? I would think, yes, it's flirting, but not to go on bra- broadcast it on social media or newscast. Like, I don't think it should go that far. Like, if you feel like he's being creepy or you feel uncomfortable... Like, there are ways that you can talk to the person or probably take action towards it, but not to go on social media and make it like that. Like, that's just me but personally. Think, okay, so she took it a step further, but do you think it was flirting? If a guy, you posted a picture with a, with a, with a let's say, a famous person. Let's not even say a famous person. A, a normal person that you hang out with. And he DMs you and say, hey, we look good together. How would you take that? Then again, like, I don't know. <laughs> How would you take it? Let's say JR. We're, we, we all hang out, right? But let's just say you have a post individually with JR. Mm. You take a picture with him. You're going apple picking, whatever. JR DMs you, hey, we look good yeah. in that pic. Mm. I think it's a compliment. But okay. then again, it's just the way how it was said to you. It's a DM. We look good in this pic. So you can't yeah. You can't hear the voice. You can't hear the enunciations and things like that. It's a DM. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to ask, were there any emojis thrown in there? Because emojis make a difference. <laughs> I think like there if was. We, if you drop I think the there eyes was. I think there or was. the... Right, let me try to see. Because I'm thinking like the eyes, um, the the... The heart. The heart. Eyes. Okay, so here it is. Okay. Shh, don't tell anybody. We look good together. So there was a crying emoji and a kissing heart emoji. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a game changer there. Because <laughs> if he were just to say we look good together, that's it. No emoji, just a period at the end. You can't take that serious. But if you're adding not one, but two emoji, a crying and the heart kissy whatever. Mal was okay. trying to get some. He was, the Mal was, was trying yeah, to get Mal trying to get some boom boom. Definitely. Some Congress women boom boom. But that still don't call to go on social media. Like I don't know. Uncle Sammy, what do you think, man? So obviously he's flirting, but that's got to be like the kindest flirt mm. ever. Like he's a very anything. older gentleman, like an yeah. old judge. Probably just learn how to use a phone. Exactly. Oh, man. But you know what? He could be doing it like in a joking way, too, if it's an older person. The thing is, I don't think that they should have made it as big of a deal. If they felt uncomfortable, they could have just said, I don't appreciate that joke. Something like that. And that guy would have apologized because the the flirt wasn't really like, uh, you know, like a dirty flirt. It was like a compliment type of flirt. So it's I guess there's different types of ways of flirting. Mm. Like that was trying to be that was like a nice way of just you know it's still a flirt for mm. sure, but it wasn't like dirty or like disgusting, you know what I mean? It came across as very respectful, 
and she could just be and she's in her right to say you know i don't appreciate that line because i'm married or i'm whatever and then it would have ended there you know like to go to the media is just a little bit much to me and i don't care if there's hearts and crying face it was still a nice little comment you know what i mean yeah yeah but it she i'm worse. not gonna lie she looked pretty the, good the eggplant mm. you know what i'm saying like yeah Man didn't put the eggplant or anything like that. Yeah. So yeah, that would have been a game changer. So Uncle Sammy, she looked pretty good though. Like she's a she's a nice looking congresswoman. Yeah. Um, but oh, I think there's in here. This is where we're in this new culture where everything offends everyone. Yeah. This guy's an older gentleman. Yeah. Mm. Like, come on, man. I know we'll have this issue. Yeah. In in future, when we're old, much older, and we flirt a certain way, the younger generation will take it a different way. It's an innocent flirt. I think. Yeah. I think like, so too. This man is just like Uncle Sammy saying. Mm. He's flirting. He's not intending it for go anywhere. Yeah. It's just like, you look good. Mm. We look good. Oh, I know. Well, I want to put the energy there. Whoa. Now that's taken it to a whole different level. But but she could accept the energy or deny it. Like, true. you know what I mean? He's not like being abrasive or like, you know what I mean? So Exactly. I, I'm with Jace on it. I'm with Jace on it. And also he's too, he's throwing a I feeler think, out. He's throwing a feeler. Yeah. He's throwing the bait exactly. in the water. You're he allowed to flirt yeah. if you ain't married. Yeah, and yeah. if you're single. Which I was gonna ask. What I believe they're both statuses? single. I believe they're both single. So, oh my god. So then I don't see the. I'll problem. fact check that, but I yeah. believe they're both single. And okay, let's just for conversation's sake, let's say they're both single. The fact that she went to the media with it and put yeah. him on blast, like. Because his name yeah. is in the news right now. Yeah. Defending Drake, mm. defending um against all these like the sh- the shit the ex- the shits and gigs things. I don't yeah. know if you guys heard about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with but Atlanta? Like, yeah. 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 Um, but like they're saying like how you know, the lighter skinned black people, they're not considered black enough. Yeah. So they don't get the credibility, they can't talk on things. They're being isolated from anyways, we can get into yeah. that in another pod. Right. But he's just saying like your culture is not the same as our yeah. culture. He was literally on the Breakfast Club this week. Yeah. Talking about that. Yeah. But, but yeah. Damn. Like, why you do the man like that? Like she mm, she 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 knew what it was gonna do. She knew that. She a problem, but right? she's a congresswoman. Yeah. So she know even her influence, yep. how that will get. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Congress pum pum man, don't go for that. <laughs> but I guess to to kind of quickly follow up on that as well. That's her, by the way. Oh okay. Oh, it's not AOC. What do you mean AOC? AOC. Um, what's her name? Uh, well, that's her. Alexandria kind of... or yeah, Cortez. there you go. I thought it was for a second, but okay. no, it wasn't. Okay. Who, who, what's her name? What's the congresswoman's name? Nancy Mace. I can't see. Nancy Mace. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious. Hey, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Slide in her DMs. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Man. At least that'll get us some recognition. <laughs> well, I, I, I got a follow up question to that. Okay. Let's say your significant other took a picture at some sort of work event, whatever, and the individual that your partner took the picture with DM'd your partner. So in this case, we'll say wife or for Cash's uh, sake, husband. They were to receive a DM from the individual they took the picture with and says, hey, we looked good together. Mm. Don't tell anyone. How are you reacting? You want to take that one, Uncle Zami? Yeah, I'm pissed. I'm definitely pissed. And I would definitely have a dis I hope well, hopefully she comes to me so that way I know. That's how I guess I'd find out. And she doesn't listen to him and not tell anyone. And yeah, I definitely have a discussion with her and be like, You gotta respond to this guy. Hmm. What about you, Cash? I agree with Sammy. I would be upset. And yeah, that's unacceptable, but as I said, if your partner is now open to you, as in telling you what type of conversation or whatever the case may be, then how would you know? But if he did tell me, then yes, I would be upset for sure. Can you explain it to me again? Mm-hmm. So 
Okay, so same situation. Okay. Um, in this instance, it'll be your wife takes a picture with, uh, let's say, a colleague at some sort of event, whatever, maybe fundraiser, who knows. Right. And um, your wife's colleague then DMs your wife and says, we look hey, shh, don't tell anyone we look good together. The exact mm. same sentiment that was And there. if she didn't tell me? like, No, just how would you react? To that. Well, I wouldn't know. Yes. Unless she know. told me. Okay, so let's just say your wife or Cash, your husband, tells you, like, hey, look at what uh, colleague Joe. I would laugh. Me. Really? I would laugh. Yeah. Because I would say, so how'd you respond? Hmm. And if she didn't respond or she just yeah. shut it down immediately, I would yeah. laugh. Okay. But I would laugh initially first and say, so how'd you yeah. respond? Mm. I wouldn't be upset. Yeah. Now, okay, let's say there's no response as of yet. So you're. She's like, hey, look at what Joe oh, just Oh, I would just me. laugh. That's funny. Right. That's funny. Do you also look at it as harmless, though? And that's why you would laugh and it's nothing? I look at it because my wife didn't respond to it. My mm-hmm. wife didn't put action behind it. Right. Because, like, who's... I can't control other men... True. ...trying to do what they want to do. Yeah. Because if I did, I would kill all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't really control... Yeah. ...if anyone to do it. It's, like... To me, it's harmless. You're trying to shoot your shot, but like, as long as she didn't take the bait, yeah, then I know I got a good woman. Hmm. But but would you want her to respond to it to to nip it in the bud, so it doesn't keep happening? Well, if she doesn't respond, I think that's that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I'm finding more no, than no, often I, if you don't respond, I mean, it's probably better than not responding. Than yeah. than responding no. and saying, "Hey, don't talk to me again." Mm. To be honest, with really, you. yeah. You think that you act like no. you don't see it? It doesn't doesn't make any difference in your life. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. But, but then I it think could the continue opposite. to happen. What's that? But then it could continue to happen. Yeah. Like I don't think so. That's, what, that's really? I think differently. Like it, if you're texting a girl or anything like that, and she doesn't respond to you, you're like, man. Yeah. <laughs> but well, but if are. she responds, just, you're yeah. like, okay, she denied me, but she saw, and I'm in her head. I think differently like but, that. But some people are but persistent. there are people that think differently than you. Mm. <laughs> like I'm, There are people who are v- very much more persistent. So without responding, they yeah. may not send her a DM anymore. They may do it at work or they may do it in person. True. So that's Maybe. why I, I, that's why I'm very curious. If you just leave it, then it could continue in I'm a okay different with avenue. I'm mm. okay with it. I'm different. But, hmm. and this is why I ask. Is it because of what was actually sent seems kind of harmless? It's kind of like it's like a free throw, but yeah, you a as half, a guy, a know. half court shot though of like. But you as a guy know yeah. they're sending it. It's harmless, but if it hits, mm. it's a score. You know that. You mm. know that. You it, know that. Is it harmless? Guys though? will harmlessly flirt with you online, and if if they're just flirting to put out. They're trying to fish. Yeah. And if they catch the fish, damn. Yeah. They just want to see if they still have it in them. I'm hmm. with JR though. It's I don't th- I don't see it as harmless to you. It has to I'm be okay res- like I think it has to be addressed. Because yeah. if it's not addressed, then it's gonna continue. I yeah. I, I understand what Jace is saying. Like when your part when your woman doesn't respond to it, that's a good sign. However, mm. with them not responding and it's not addressed, that leaves the opening for that person to continue to do it, get continue to do it, and then you're not gonna find out about the other ones, and then you're, you know what I mean. And this way, at least it's you knew once and for all it stopped. Mm. But let me ask you this: so yeah. Do you, Cash, do you get messages from guys and you just don't respond and they stop? Uh, before yes but like it's more so when you post a picture that's i guess good looking Uh Hmm. you might have reaction or two it all depends but yeah it happens some guys they just Uh, as you said they like to fish to see what they can catch catch, Mm. right and and i can bet you though that there's some of those same guys that will Next time you put a picture, we'll continue to fish, and then the mm. another picture they'll continue to fish. Aren't there oh, those yeah. guys as well? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
That's oh, true. Yeah. I'm okay with that as long as my woman ain't responding or doing anything. Hmm. Fish, dream all you want. <laughs> it's all <Yeah>. mine. <laughs> no. You want to be me. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love the enviness in other people that look at me. Really? I want to be me. I love Ooh. that shit. I eat it up. They want to be you. Yeah. That's why I keep rising. Like mm. cake mix. Watch Jeez. me rise. <laughs> <laughs> um so I got okay I got one more follow up okay, okay, okay. okay did you answer though you, are you okay with that oh me um uh, hmm I'll let my partner handle it and use their discretion as to if they're gonna reply or not reply I'm not gonna say anything and the reason why I say this is um I, I don't know what takes place in the workplace or whatnot. Um, and I'll allow you to handle it because they're also made, let's just say, what if um, this was your boss, right. right? Now this could turn into something real sticky, right? Uh -huh. Where you reply the wrong way and somehow, some way he could somehow terminate. You know how it goes, right? I so, would love that. That, that's a that's a lawsuit. <laughs> we we'll make it some is. money. Yeah, if. <laughs> but again, like we don't know, and and we don't know how you know you might be blackballed in the workplace as well. We don't know, so I wouldn't want to jump the gun and say, "Give me your phone," Duh, and start. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna come after you. Don't, because now I'm threatening. I'm this. I'm that. So I'm gonna be like, you know what? You use your discretion and handle it. Let me flip it mm. before you get to your question. Actually, go for your question. I'll I'll come back after. You had okay. Um, well, okay. So I guess the follow up to that is if you were in that situation, how would you want your partner to handle it? So if you were the one that received that DM, okay. how would you want your partner? Would you want your partner? Uh, would you tell them, hey, I got this. Don't worry. Would you tell them? Would you tell them? Yeah. If you don't reply, would your partner look at it as like, yeah. you know? You're not standing on your business. Like I like to hear the lady at the pod first. Mm. Okay. Hmm. I think it's important to talk to your partner about it. But let me ask you this. As a woman, mm. women get like DMs, like your inbox is like full yeah. of DMs. Like hey, not you're all literally the time. gonna go to your partner to every single one and say, Look, we're guys, we probably get one DM a yeah. month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so cruel. And then I find out, oh, it's a scam. Yeah. It's like, oh, shoot. I had to send money this entire yeah. time. I don't agree with that. Really? So you would... You I would don't agree with that. You I don't agree with the volume? If you're single and you're portraying that to social yeah. media that you are single, you're going to get more DMs. But if you... You know, keep posting your partner. If you're single and you're a you're girl. Hold up, yeah. hold up, hold up, hold up. I think women who are in a relationship are less likely to have much DM than a person. You're who's crazy. Single. Hold you're up, crazy. Cash. Hey, Cash. I'm in a relationship. I don't get any DMs. Cash. I'm, do you I'm post? Do you even post yourself? <laughs> no, so, I'm not an Instagram. So, so, so. so hold on, Cash. Because you're in a relationship, that means every picture you have to post your partner. No, I'm not saying that. So if you if, if you take a selfie in the mirror and you're like, damn, I look good. You can't post that because I know I'm going to get 10 guys DMing me. I feel if you're posting yourself all the time without a man in your picture, nine out of the 10 times, what? you are going to get much more DM than a person who's actually posting with their partner. Because guys, some guys, they just feel uncomfortable liking a picture with a girl and her, her boyfriend or her husband and... Versus if you were to post it alone or not post him at all, I think like you're going to get more DMs. I don't know. Personally, that's how I look at it. But that's okay though. What if what if your husband doesn't have social media? He doesn't like to be in pictures. So what are you gonna do? Post anything? You can still post yourself. And you feel good about yourself. Yeah. Let's say like you're losing weight, you're yeah. feeling good, you got got a promotion, you're posting yourself. What's wrong with that? Guys will DM you just because you posted. Yeah. As long as you don't look like an elephant. Oh, shit. Right. Or like, Whale. what if Rhino. I'm like posting pictures with like bikini and thong Exactly. On? You went on vacation and you and you, you feel good. What's wrong with that? 
Yeah. And so let's just continue. You get you get some DMs on it. Right. His question, do you tell your partner yes. about those DMs? Yes. Mm. Okay. Because here's the thing. What if I see a pop-up on that Instagram, whatever pop-up, and I ask, hmm, what's that Instagram pop-up? And it shows like it's a message that come through. Oh, mess. Okay. Yes. So then I'm not on Instagram, so I don't know the updates, but just saying. If I see it and I said, well, hmm, who could it be? And I just attempt to just go into it. Let's right. just say hypothetically. Mm-hmm. Then... If he's flirting with somebody else and he hasn't told me, that's actually being unfaithful. So I think you should be open before. But you didn't flirt though. You just got the message. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You're gonna tell. There could be more messages prior to when this message that I'm reading. I'm saying you didn't oh, flirt. Okay, okay. I'm saying you didn't flirt. You would still tell your significant other about uh, these messages. Yes, I think you should. Do you even stop if you after? Didn't flirt. A, do you stop after like the tenth one? Because girls and guys, it's different. It's completely different. Mm, true. That's I why I'm going back to the fact that we will get one DM a month. Yeah. You will probably get That's 10 not true. DMs a day. That's not true. That is 100% true. That's not true. Because a guy can post pictures with, with his shirt off and his DM will And we'll get two DMs. Yeah. No. No, that's we not will, true. We'll, we will not get as many DMs no, as if you post not a bikini pic. Yes, it that's is. not true. If you go on TikTok right now and you see a girl, a guy Social media dancing, is just a sausage fest. Yeah. And all he's just doing is just dancing. You'll see all no, the girls are no, just commenting. Cash, so can you imagine what his cash, DM is looking like? Cash. Men lust over women more than women lust over men. We need to show her our DMs, maybe, so she could see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. So, so if you're a guy DMs, that likes to post a lot on social media, for... Sammy, she has more DMs than the three of us combined Ooh. for one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sammy, you like to travel. Yeah. You post up a lot on Instagram and social media, right? You're telling me all those pictures at the beach, Dubai, Sammy and all got these things. To show for it. You don't get no DM? Uh, I'd be lucky if I get a couple. <laughs> exactly. So what are you guys talking about? But he one just said DM? he didn't get any. Yeah. No, no, no. You know no, what no, we no. get? And the reason I'm laughing yeah. is we get weird people <laughs> from high school that, <laughs> that make like crazy comments. Cutie. I get crazy comments like you're an idiot or something and then hide and create fake accounts and try to DM you. That's what we get. Yeah, we don't we actually get like an innocent girl to say, hey, you look so nice. Yeah. Oh my Damn. God, that probably happened like a few times in my life. Like <laughs> once a month. Jeez. We don't mm. get that. Trust yeah. me. Okay. No, maybe we're not, maybe really we're not that. in that level. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's the case. True. Maybe that's no, the case. Women don't really do that, I don't think, as much as men do. Like, women don't shoot their shot like like yeah. that. They oh, don't yeah. need to work for that. Like, you know what I mean? Guys yeah. will go to yeah. them. Yeah. So, they are you telling me us. you would message guys if they look good? No. So, how do you know? Really? Because I've seen women like guys that dance in shorts and stuff on the beach. And you, you can literally see their fronts like printing through. And it's like this the comments are going crazy. People are like, ooh, you look good. And when you go on his profile, he has his wife on there, like kissing his wife. And girls are still going crazy over his dance. So let me explain. That guy is probably like a 10 out of 10. He is. Or a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Right. He is. Right. Yeah. A woman who's a 5 will get much more than that guy mm-hmm. who posts in the bikini. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. All right, you guys win. Yeah. I'm telling you. And that is the case. Also, too, let's just say, using your example, he probably has an understanding and his wife has an understanding like, hey, I'm going to post these type of TikToks dancing. Just beware, I'm going to get these DMs, but I'm not doing nothing with it. Mm-hmm. She's probably cool yeah. with it. Hey, hey, as long as you're not, you know, um, as long as you're not progressing it and you post your content and you do your thing, nothing really matters right so what's the point he could still post whatever videos dancing working out whatever but as long as he's not acting on the dms that he's receiving Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. 
He's like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a gym dude, so I'm going to post these gym pics or videos. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you would show your significant other if you get DMs? Yes. Okay. Uncle Sammy, if you get DMs, would you show your significant other or your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I would actually. So for me, I think, uh, I just think of transparency. So then also I would see Drew communicating with her what she'd prefer how to me to handle it. If she doesn't want me to respond, I'll leave it. If she wants me to be like, hey, I have a girl. Sorry about that. Like, don't get the wrong idea, blah, blah. Whatever she wants me to say to make her feel comfortable is what I'd end up doing. Because at the end of the day, this person means nothing to me. You know what I mean? So I'd show her and let her tell me how she wants me to handle it. And then that's how I'd handle it. I don't want no problems, man, for no reason. Hmm. That's a tough one. I got the answer. I don't know if I, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I'd be posting up because to me, it almost seems like a, like, oh, I'm throwing in the towel. Oh, hey, everyone, here's my wife. Or, you know what I mean? I, I, I take the approach of, like, I don't have to post my partner to show the world as almost like a cop out. Like, So if you get a DM, would you show your significant other? No. Okay. I don't think so. No, I, I don't think, think that's needed. I Oh, I think you misunderstood. So I don't think he means um, show her by like posting her. He means like show her, like show her the DM yeah. that she received. Oh, oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah. show her the DM. Yeah, yeah. You would show her. Yeah, the DM. yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant like actually like posting on social media to be like, oh, here's my wife. Kind of, but I asked the oh, second question because okay. I wanted to see what you. Would okay, so I will show my wife yeah. the DM, but I will not post my wife in a response to the DM. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, I wouldn't either. Yeah, no. Because to me, it almost looks like it's a cop-out. It's mm -hmm. almost like, oh, shoot. Oh, here's my wife, everyone. Oh, you know, I'm I'm, I'm taking It's like... So you would show you, your girl that you're getting DMs. Yeah, for Man. sure. You're all scared of your girls. <laughs> scared of your... I ain't showing that. No? I ain't showing it because yeah. I ain't going to act on it. Like, I don't want mm. questions. If I get a DM, I'll delete that shit. Whoa! Cause, like it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. I don't want questions. Mm. Go through my phone, see it. I didn't respond. Yeah, I forgot to delete it. But like, <laughs> whatever, man. Don't I'm, delete. Just whatever you do, delete. don't delete it. If you're planning not to respond, okay, please. I won't respond and I'll leave don't it. Delete. Yeah, I'll leave At it. At least, but I show, I'm not coming out and it. showing it. Yeah. Like oh look I got yeah. I got five DMs in the last five years. Yeah. <laughs> nah man, delete it. Clear your storage. Don't worry. No. Don't don't don't, don't, har delete. don't harbor junk. <laughs> Clear it, man. You know how pathetic that would yeah. be. That's the only message you got in five years. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I ain't showing that because yeah. I ain't gonna do anything. Nah, it's a waste of time. What do it you is, want me to yeah. do with this? Yeah, I don't know. I can handle it. <laughs> Let's stare at it for a couple hours and figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have a partner? Maybe it, it, I can DM the partner. You know what it really depends on? It really depends on your 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 woman, to be honest mm. with you. Because depending on how their temperament is, how they feel with certain things, it because yeah. it, it really de if we could say what we want to say, but maybe mm. our answer would change if the person was different. You know what I mean? If they're more insecure, then True. you may want they may not let you not show them. They'd be like cause a fight because they're saying why didn't you show me you know what mm -hmm. i mean so i think it depends on your situation a yeah. lot of the time for me i just think the transparency so that's the only reason because i don't want anything to come back and cause a fight that's useless to me so that's, that's what how i think so but i could understand what jace is saying too because if you don't respond then you didn't do anything but even not responding and not telling can still cause a fight. So that's why I'm yeah. like, let me just tell and get it out the way. That's true. Damn. Mm. That was a good pod. Mouth kinks.